As far back as I can remember, I've always been connected to fishing. I was taking the boat out by myself when I was six. I'd like pack a little lunch, I'd get my little fishing rod, I'd walk over to my parents' bed, I'd be like, I'm going fishing. Garden Island has been a place that my family has been attached to for as long as my dad's been alive, which is almost, it is three quarters of a century. So 75 years, my dad has been coming here. And three months after I was born in Mount Sinai, Toronto, my parents had me here. Six months old, whistling at like eight months old, swimming around two years old, and then I was in a boat at four. always felt like I need to go to the beat of my own drum. So I started as a personal trainer with my own business, and then from there I transitioned into a healthy meal delivery company that I grew from the ground up. And I built a, you know, a food delivery empire for about 10 years. You know, the dream that I'd always had, which was have a, a huge business, meet all the cool people, do all the cool things, experience the lavish lifestyle. And then from there, I didn't know what to do. And I kind of hit a bit of a wall. There was a period of a couple of years where I just sat unsure of what to do with myself and where to go next. One of the things that I found really helps with, with when I'm feeling off or when I'm, I'm feeling like I'm not sure what's next or where I need to be or what I need to do or who, who I really am or what my purpose is or all of these questions is to just quiet. When, when I was first growing up and getting into fishing, all the fishing stories were always of the muskie. So the muskellunge is the biggest, baddest fish that we have to offer here in Ontario for game fishing. It is a feisty predator, it is an amazing fighter, and it is the fish of 10,000 casts. And growing up, this was the Moby Dick for me. My life's quest from an early age was to catch this enormous giant. Every time I went out fishing, I was always like, maybe this is the time. And it never was. But it always remained as this, this goal to reach to. It was a late fall. October day, I was out in the minnow fishing. I did your classic, I'm gonna go for one last troll. And of course, when you catch that fish, you're not prepared. I'm just driving along in the minnow trolling and all of a sudden, the line just drops straight to the water. Yeah, buddy. This is a snag, there's no way a fish is has pulled my line this hard. This has to be a snag. And so I sat there in the boat, turned off the engine, started pulling the boat towards the snag, and then the snag moved. And then all of a sudden the line just went zing and started running. And I had to turn on the boat and chase the line. Well, I was aware right away that I was unprepared for this fight. And this continued for about 20 minutes. The line would go out, I'd chase it, I'd get whatever this thing was close to the boat, and then it would go back out. Finally, I got to see just the side of the fish pass by. And the moment I saw it, I knew what I had on the line. And up until that point, I hadn't been nervous. And then immediately, 
I was nervous because my life's goal with fishing was right there in front of me. It was the closest it had ever been. And after a, a few more minutes of fighting, I was able to get the fish close to the boat. And with nothing there, I threw on my mom's garden glove and just threw my hand in its mouth and pulled it up into the boat. And in that moment where I saw it in the boat, it was like a wave of euphoria just passed over me with this realization that I had accomplished something I had been chasing for three decades. Fishing, I had this goal. I had this very lofty, high goal. And in business, I had this lofty goal. One was the musky, one was a ton of money and a comfortable lifestyle. And after accomplishing both, I found myself lost. And I found myself searching for answers and what to do, and probably in the darkest mental health spots that I could be. Spending time in that darkness, the things that I found really helped me, that actually pulled me out and that have me in a place where I feel so much better than I ever did when I was at the peak are the simple things, the simple joys, the moments with others, the, the connection that I share with people, the feeling like I can be myself in a situation, whether that's being in like a frozen lake and not being able to think about anything but just calm and not worrying about who I am or what I'm showing up as. It was because I was attaching myself to a goal I had for myself, for where I wanted to be, instead of accepting who I was in that moment. And similar to trying to catch the muskie, instead of just trying to worry about catching the fish, trying to get to that, that absolute goal, I should have just been focusing on enjoying the moments. It wasn't accomplishing the goal that was what had me feeling the best. It was actually the experience of accomplishing the goal. Myself isn't in the, in the accomplishment. Myself is in the work of the accomplishment.